Retro J Dash here with another Craigslist purchase. I've been checking that every day to see if anything comes cool, and I found something that I think is worth the money. You guys might disagree, you might agree. Let me know when you watch this. All right, for fifty dollars, I got an FC Twin. Two controllers with it. Hookups. And the AC adapter, along with a large haul of Super Nintendo games and some regular Nintendo games. I'll start with the regular Nintendo games because I own them all but one, so these are all going to be up for trade, except for one of them, and I'll let you know. First off, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Let's go yelling to the cartridge, but that one's up for trade. Othello, this one I'm going to add to my collection, because I actually own the instruction manual, but I don't own the book game, so that's going to be added to my collection. Super Mario Bros. 3, very good condition, up for trade. Super Mario Bros. 2, up for trade, pretty good condition also. A little wear on the sticker there. And Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, also up for trade, even though I don't anybody out there who watches these videos even needs that game. All right, now we're the Super Nintendo games. Paperboy 2. That one I already own. That one's up for trade. Sim City. Nice added to my collection. Used to love playing this game in on the PC, even though I never got good at it. Pinball Dreams, a neat little pinball game. Tested it out. It's it's okay. It's a, pin, it's a video game pinball game. What do you expect? Liam's Arcade Hits, Greatest Hits. Robotron 2084, Defender, Defender 2, Sinstar, and Jels. Basically, same games that I have for the game.com. If you watch that pickups video with that in it. Cubert 3. Never even heard of this. Didn't even know there was a part 3. That's going to be interesting. Super Battleship. And I own the Super Nintendo version and I already own the Genesis version. This one actually has better graphics and better sound than the Genesis version does. Kirby's Avalanche. Puzzle game. Played it for about f four minutes and suck. I lost on level two. Gotta get good at this. Scooby Doo Mystery. Eh, kids game. Maybe I'll get into it. I don't know. But it's part of the collection and I actually have the instruction manual for it. But I had for a while, never found the game, now I have it. Last, and probably the worst game in the whole lot, Wayne's World. Hey, Angry Video Game Nerd did a review on this game, and I agree with every word he said about it. It sucks. This one, hunk of crap. Now let me go over the games that are up for trade again. Paperboy 2 for Super Nintendo, the, the sticker is very worn out on it. Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. Super Mario Bros. 2. Super Mario Bros. 3. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first one. With yellowing on the... Looks like smoke damage, actually. But those ones are up for trade. Thank you all for watching. $50, once again, for this whole thing. I have an FC3... or FC Twin now. I also own the FC3 Plus. This machine, do not recommend. It's got Genesis setup controller, so playing Nintendo and Super Nintendo games is very hard having the A and B button switched around. And no way to switch it unless there's a configuration in the game itself. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.